Welcome to the first spot ever, the short public online tutorial. This one is about IMTA. This might ring a bell for most of us working in aquaculture, but most people can't really tell what IMTA stands for and really don't have a clear vision about this thing called integrated multitrophic aquaculture. To try to change that, I'm going to address this type of aquaculture from a food system approach. And I'm going to start by showing you this picture. This picture shows you um, dried and salted cod. This is the image, the, this triangular shape is the image that I have of a cod. And this is mainly because I'm Portuguese and this is the national dish. We usually eat it during Christmas Eve. We have a thousand ways to cook it. And, um, and I'm only telling you this to put you into context of a food system. Um, and this is just an example, and um, for you to, to know, a food system includes all processes and infrastructures involved in feeding a population. And this includes growing, growing fish in this case, and then harvesting, and in Portugal, even though um, it's a national dish, uh, cod are not harvested in national waters because we don't have cod in national waters. We have to fish it elsewhere, usually in the north. See, um, and, and after this, uh, fish is processed, like you, you see, you see in, in this picture. And this, in this case, it's drying and salted. And then you have the, the packing process. And then today we live in a global market. We have a transport, and transport can be literally to everywhere. And today we can also not live without marketing. So a food system these days involves marketing. And to end with, we have consumption and disposal. In the case of cod, consumption means that before cod is actually cooked, it needs to be soaked, it needs to be rewatered before it can be cooked and eaten. So in the food system, the first question that we need to address uh, in order to understand better is, in this case, where do fish come from? That used to be easy to answer because fish were fished from the sea by fishermen. And in Portugal, probably in the 50s, in coastal areas, someone knew a friend, a relative, a friend of a friend working in the fishing industry. Today, however, things are a bit different. For every two fish we eat, one comes from the sea, we call the wild catch, but the other fish, well, the other fish actually comes from a fish tank. This is just to give you the idea that 50% of the production of fish today is actually coming from aquaculture. This is it for my first spot on IMTA. I haven't addressed the IMTA concept yet. My next spot will be about uh, the, the historical perspective uh, of IMTA and I will explain what IMTA exactly is. So stay tuned.